What's going on everybody? We're doing another live. I'm hanging out with all of you. So you're probably just watching this back if you didn't get a chance to join it from the very beginning, but we're going to be chatting with you. I'm going to be bringing you guys all on and hanging out with you. So let's answer some questions here. I got some questions. Do I speak French? You know, I took French class when I was in um, school and I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I enjoyed Spanish though. I took, I took Spanish for a bit, but I can't speak that much of it because I don't practice it. Um, are you going to make more Heartland episodes? Well, I believe Heartland is still going. I don't know if they have had a green light for another season yet, but uh, normally that happens any day now, I think. Very soon, probably. If they have another season, that'll be announced soon. Um, how did you... Someone's asking me how... Gabby, the horse girl, is asking me, how did you enjoy Heartland on a scale of 1% to 100%? <laughs> Well, uh, I enjoyed it, Gabby, quite a bit. Um, I don't know, how would, you, how would you rate something by percentage? Um, like if 100% is like 10 out of 10, um, then yeah, I, I, I would say 10 out of 10. Um, it was a fantastic experience in my life and I'm very, very grateful for all those opportunities and the stories that we got to tell and the great people that I got to work with. It was fantastic. Um, uh, hello, Dallas, Texas. Hey, it's Liberty from Dallas. Hey, Liberty. Uh, we video chatted. Did you ever visit Dallas? Uh, I haven't been to Texas yet. That's on my road trip plans. Um, I'll let everybody know when I'm on my road trip where I'm going to stop and uh, do some meet and greets and hang out with people. And I got speakers on the outside of my my podcast van, so play some music, <laughs> have some fun. Um, someone says, who who says this here? Heidi says, thanks for introducing us to Donnie Mac. He's awesome. Agreed. Well, Don McLeod, who's Donnie Mac. Uh, we, um, did Cruise with Cause way back in the day. He was the one who, um, started that with me. So we go way back. Um, how's the podcast? It's good, Tom. I think that was Tom who just asked that. Tom, um, yeah, we just finished premiering my, the 21st episode with Brian Peckford. It was great. So if some of you were just there watching the episode with me and now you're here, we're getting to hang out. I'll bring some people on so we can video chat as well. And Cindy Busby's here. She, she says, let me know when you're on the road trip. Amen. Well, Cindy, you know, <laughs> so Cindy, I actually plan to go to Alberta and then down, but uh, maybe I'll come back through California um, if uh, California hasn't gone crazy, too crazy. <laughs> uh, I'd love to see you again, Cindy. And do another podcast with Cindy Busby. That'd be fun too. And we do one with, uh, with video because the first time Cindy was on my, my podcast was, uh, was just audio. So it'd be great to do a... A video podcast with Cindy. Actually, I was thinking about Cindy the other day. When we were on set together, she was always making jokes. And she was always, uh, she's very humorous. She's very comedic. And I hope, I don't know if this is in her future, if this is what she wants to do, but it would be great to see um, her have her own comedy show or do stand-up comedy. Um, she's she's such a, you know, full of laughs, always <laughs> yeah, finding ways to uh, to bring a smile to people's face. So, um, maybe we can figure out some sort of, um, scenario for Cindy's next, uh, appearance on the podcast for comedy's comedy sake. You do something funny. Um, so yeah. Uh, and yes, I'll do another podcast with Amber if she's available. That was my plan is to try and get out to Alberta on my road trip and, uh, rope her into another, uh, rope her into another podcast episode. Um, I think that'd be a lot of fun. So I'll let you guys know where where my stops are um just planning that i got a lot of a lot of stuff to prepare when i get my you know all this gear that i bought for my podcast i bought it specifically so i could fit it in that van <laughs> and I'm, I'm reaching the limits of what that van can uh, or my motorhome whatever you call it can hold um let's answer a couple more questions here and then we'll jump on we'll bring some people on uh never been to kentucky no um you mentioned you're italian do you do sunday dinner what's the meal like do Canadian and Italians do Sunday dinner? When I was a kid, we did dinner every Sunday. I, I don't know if there's a special Sunday dinner. We would do, um, when I was a kid, we'd go out to where I was born um, and where my mom grew up. Um, and there was this big community hall and we'd hold these spaghetti dinners. And so all the family members would get together, the people in the community, we'd have, you know, a bunch of people have spaghetti. <laughs> I love spaghetti. I, would, I love spaghetti. I would eat like three or four uh, helpings. I don't know why. 
Maybe it was all the, the Parmesan cheese that I could put on it. Hey guys, so I know Graham is not technically a part of Heartland anymore, but I know many Heartland fans are still very interested in what he is doing, which is why I wanted to share this update with you guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe for more Heartland updates in the future.